The housing affordability crisis is once again taking center stage at the Colorado State Capitol. Today, lawmakers are taking up a bill that would ban no cause evictions, meaning landlords would have to prove a legal reason for kicking someone out of their home. Denver 7's Brandon Richard is live at the state capitol this evening. And Brandon, Democrats tried to pass a similar bill last year, but it failed. So here we go again. Well, they made a lot of progress this year. 30 minutes ago, the Colorado Senate passed this bill on a second reading by a voice vote. Uh, this follows a long day of debate, a day that included senators introducing several amendments to change certain parts of the bill. Some of those amendments passed, some of those amendments failed, but the bill fundamentally remains the same right now as it did this morning. The bill says that landlords here in Colorado cannot evict tenants or decide not to renew their leases without a reason or a just cause. That could include failure to pay rent, violating their lease, or committing a crime. Now, sponsors of this bill say it will protect renters, especially those renters who fear being evicted for complaining to their landlord about their living conditions, for instance. But opponents say this bill tramples on the rights of landlords including by limiting when they can take back or repossess their property. Take a listen. You should not have to make a calculated decision in your mind of will addressing this problem cost me my housing. This is a takings. This is infringing on an individual's property right, on their property that they own the landlord. Now, the bill also bans landlords from retaliating against renters by raising their rent. Sponsors say the vast majority of evictions in Colorado are because of non-payment of rent. And again, landlords would still be able to evict someone because they did not pay their rent. But they say this bill will still make a difference, a huge difference for those families who are evicted for other reasons. It could potentially keep thousands of families in their homes, they say. We're at the Capitol tonight. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. One we will keep our eyes on over at the Capitol. Brandon, thank you.